Okay, guys. Um, I think we have a real nice um, shot here, but I think we have to smooth more our shadows. So to do that, I'm going to my options here and environment. In our skylight, let's let's change our size multiplier that will make my shadows be more softer because we are increasing the size of our light source and let's increase either our sub shadow subdivisions to something about 16 okay let's apply it and now I'm going I'm going to show you something I mean, I'm going to render it now we have some real nice soft shadows that's very realistic that's what we are looking for and real nice quality here but if we look at our uh, time that took to render um, 53.8 seconds that's that's okay because we don't have too much thing here rendering and that's monochromatic so um, that's a good time but we can lower that in our exterior shot and I'm going to just to save that one on my my documents here and I will save at TGA that's a good quality of image and won't del delete my background here so I'll choose the name of one and let's save it and then I'm going to my options here and in, in exterior shot we don't need that that high setting so in min rate on irradiance map let's choose minus four and max rate minus two and let's go to our irradiant uh, light cache these configurations depends on uh, how big is your shot but in this shot in particular we don't need 1000 uh, subdivisions and let's choose just 700 and one on number of phase what this does it's the number of times that the, the light will bounce in our scene uh, we have the, the direct light that comes from our Sun and then we have the first bounce that is controlled by irradiance map here and the light cache will control the secondary bounce but um, uh, the number of phase is the number of times that the light will bounce okay so we don't need all those and this low uh, when we lower this one oh, I'm sorry this one here will get more contrast okay uh, if you rise it you will get more lighter shadows okay so let's render again our scene and we will see the time that took alright so in first we we've got uh, 53.8 seconds and this one we've got um, 34.1 seconds every single seconds you you that you can load here it's good because when you render something that took one hour and this this time here will will be very good if you can lower that okay so we don't have we don't see uh, the quality and difference so that's fine okay that's a good configuration for our scene and then I'm going to show you how do we uh, let's first of all let's go to our properties here uh, our options and unhide uh, just uncheck our override materials and then I'm going to work with those leaves here 
we are going to use transparency in the very first SketchUp. So I have already showed you that if you re render this part here, we are going to get the white parts of our uh, material and the leaves. So this is not what we want. So first of all, let's get our material here. Let's go to home and right click on our settings, Australia's copy and export say uh, export texture image okay let's export with point png let's export it and open open that with photoshop or any other um you want okay let's close this one and to make our transparent um uh, map we have transparency map we have to go uh, to image adjustment and hue saturation and then let's just lower our light lightness okay to zero and press okay so we have to save without those um that a transparent background to to do that with an easy way just save as jpeg okay let's find it here jpeg and save it okay press okay now let's go to our material uh, editor here and go to settings australia's copy when you render you will see the the white part the the white part here and let's go to our diffuse and say to vary what will be transparent and what will be not okay for that we are going to use that map we've just made uh, let's choose here and what v does is the white part is totally transparent and the black part is totally opaque and the tones of uh, gray uh, more darker will be more transparent and more white whiter lighter will be more transparent okay so we need that contrast to be 110% opaque on our leaves and 100% uh, transparent where it not leave leaves okay and let's just apply that when we re up update our preview now we will see uh, our leaves to make one real nice and realistic leaves we have to add some reflection layers okay the leaves have some reflection but we have to find the the right reflection we need here so let's go to our update preview here I'm going to show you what is the best I think that reflection glossiness is 0.75 and highlight glossiness I like to work with 0.752 okay I like this one but if you note here we have some reflections where we don't want to have reflection we have reflections where it it not leaves they are not leaves and we have a reflection there so we have to say to vary again what will be reflective and what won't be okay for that we are going to use the same map we've done only on fresnel color because the reflect refract color is totally black let's choose that image and our time is running i have to run too but now we have to invert that because we want the leaves to be um 
to have reflection and where it's not live to don't have okay so we have to invert that but we've got here some really nice white and that will be very reflective we have to um, get close to that color so let's just go to our multiplier here and play with that I think that's good but we can lower that down I think that's that's okay let's just apply it and just say update preview and that's it okay that's fine now 